Hi, this is Justin with JRT Studio, and I wanted to make a, a short video to give you all a sneak peek at some cloud features that I'm trying to bring to Rocket Player. Um, now, we call these the cloud features mainly because it, it does require some backend servers and that sort of thing. Um, but there's some pretty cool features. So the first one that I want to show is something that we're calling auto tagging. If you can see, I have the song uh, One Night With, and you know, that's not actually the title of the song, so this song's metadata is not right. So we're gonna go to edit tag, and, and then we can see our normal tag information here. But I know the title isn't right, so I'm gonna press auto tag and we're gonna go look up the song information and we can see that it just changed to one night with you i click save and now that song has the correct metadata however if i go play the song i can see the album art is pretty grainy uh, in this particular mp3 and i don't like that so i'm going to hold down on the album art and then i'm going to do find album art and this is going to find us a high quality uh, 1080 by 1080 source, which, you know, just looks great. Um, and so this allowed me to both fix the metadata and get album art in just a couple clicks. Uh, the, the last thing that I want to show is something called uh, playlist backup. And if I go out and I look at playlists, um, you can see the ones that I have on this system. You know, perhaps I don't want these. I, I have some live lists or something I've created on another device. I can scroll down to uh, configure cloud features and then I can go to restore playlist and you can actually see other devices I've been testing this feature on. So let's say I wanted the playlist from the Nexus 4. It shows me different days that I've been backing this up. So I'm going to choose the very latest from the Nexus 4. And it says uh, successfully restored playlist, which is great. So if we go back out, I can see there's now this five star playlist that didn't exist before. And that's going to show any songs on this device that did have five stars. So again, this is a, a couple of cloud features that I've been working on and adding. I hope you all like them. Uh, I do want to point out in the video that these are going to have to be paid features. Um, and it's not because I don't like giving you all free features, it's just this requires back-end servers. But uh, definitely let us know what you think about these features, do you think they're useful, do you want to try them out. Uh, you can always reach us at musicplayer at jrtstudio.com. So if you like getting these videos, please subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thank you very much.